Salzburg, a city of bishops and of music. The cathedral is located in the heart of the city. This sacred Baroque building is situated on the same site as the city's first church. It is surrounded by several squares. The sovereign archbishop Wolf Dietrich had many houses in the old town that were in close proximity to the cathedral demolished. Thus, standing alone, the cathedral is an imposing sight. It was completed in 1628. Since then, various monumental figures of saints that adorn the cathedral's tall columns greet all those who enter the building. The long main body of the building can accommodate a congregation of 10,000 and a gigantic dome provides good illumination for three altars and the tombs of numerous archbishops. Abundant stucco work emphasizes the splendor of early Baroque that completes the Italian structure. Santino Solari created a true masterpiece. A masterpiece that was in keeping with Salzburg's history in which the archbishops were the clerical as well as the secular monarchs. Even today, the cultural picture of the city on the Salzach is dominated by more than a hundred churches, castles and palaces. The clerical regents and their master builders knew exactly how to impress those who visited the city. And Max Reinhardt had his play, The Life and Death of a Rich Man, performed outside the cathedral. A huge fortress still dominates the old town. Hohen Salzburg, the largest fully preserved medieval fortress in Middle Europe. It is located 119 meters above the city of Salzburg and covers over 30,000 square meters. Hohen Salzburg is like a small medieval town within itself with several buildings, courtyards and squares. Bastions with mighty towers were built at strategic points. Together with strong gates, they make the fortress near impregnable. It is believed that during a siege, the famous Salzburg Bull tricked the city's attackers into believing that the population had a good stock of food. In 1077, Archbishop Gebhardt had a wooden fort built on the mountain as a refuge. In the 12th and 13th centuries, the construction of a stone palace and a mighty ring of outer walls began. Archbishop Leonhard von Koitschak was responsible for the creation of the fortress in its present form. 
residents of late Gothic design. Tangled and narrow lanes led through the large palace that served as both a residence as well as a seat of government for the clerical regents. Seventeen prince archbishops once ruled from here, each one having made his own contribution to the development of the complex. These exquisite rooms demonstrate the amazing splendor of those times. Decorated walls, wooden ceilings and marble pillars. Gold mining and the extraction of salt in the Hohenzollern Mountains created much prosperity in the region. A fortune that made the regents increasingly rich, while the farmers and salt miners became increasingly poor. Thus the archbishops were forced to quell various disputes with their own army of mercenaries, and they always succeeded. Medieval Salzburg became a German Rome, an Italian looking city of early Baroque design, a city of art and contemplation. The Getreide Gasse is the main street in the center of the city. In former times, it was called Trabergasse, a name that demonstrates the fact that people here were always in a hurry. The portals of the old civic houses and the characteristic guild signs on the buildings highlight the historic character of this well-preserved city. Even today, Salzburg is a thriving commercial center and its narrow lanes are an atmospheric way to enjoy the old town, popular with one and all. Salzburg has always been a convenient location on the main route from north to south, a trading center and junction of various cultures. The city's most famous address is, without a doubt, number nine. For it was here that musical genius Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart was born on the 27th of January, 1756. Each day, up to 3,000 sightseers visit his former living quarters on the third floor. It's not surprising that the world-famous music festival was established here. A meeting point of VIPs and the glitterati. These Dürrhauser, or inner courtyards, are an intriguing sight. There were no lanes here when the buildings were first built, and so these corridors led to the riverbank. They were the precursor of the modern passageway. The Franziskanerkirche is the oldest church in Salzburg. It was built in the 8th century and was later destroyed by Friedrich Barbarossa. This mystic and dark romantic longhouse was consecrated in 1223.
Five slender and continuous looking pillars support a honeycombed, vaulted ceiling. The Kapitalplatz is one of the many large squares that were created during the absolute rule of Archbishop Wolf Dietrich. In its center is the Kapital Schwemmer, a fountain complex that was used to wash down horses. The shining white facade of the Collegian Kirche inspired the Baroque church architecture of southern Germany. Johann Bernhard Fischer von Erlach created a building of enormous height crowned by a mighty dome. And Johann Kleber built the high altar. The side chapels of the church relate to the four faculties of the university. When Sovereign Archbishop Wolf Dietrich built the country seat of Altenau in 1606 for his lady friend Salome Alt, it was located outside the city of today. Within the extensive park complex, several marble dwarves were erected in order to amuse the couple's 14 children. Fifteen of the figures have survived, and the fate of the others is unknown. The entire complex was later named Schloss Mirabel by its next owner, Marcus Sitikus. It was badly damaged by fire in 1808. Reconstruction of both castle and park was carried out in the typical classical design of those days and that has survived to the present day. The centre of this popular park is the imposing Pegasus Fountain. In 1730, garden architect Franz Anton Danreiter transformed the entire park according to French design. Today, this splendid castle is the seat of both the city's mayor and its administration. The Stift Nonberg was founded in around 700 AD on the eastern side of a fortified mountain. The late Gothic basilica, based upon a Roman ground plan, is the oldest nunnery in the German-speaking world. St. Rupert made his niece Erentrudis the nunnery's first female abbot. The requirement for noble descent was abolished in 1848. The precious 11th century Romanic frescoes are reminiscent of Byzantine design and are particularly impressive as is the stone tomb of the first female abbot that is situated within the crypt. The Ferdeschwemmer was used to walk horses through the water and thus to wash them down. Artistic adornments demonstrate the lavish taste of the Prince Archbishops.
In 1588, Wolf Dietrich had the labyrinth of medieval buildings between the cathedral and the quay demolished. A new square was created, today's Mozartplatz. In the center is a monument dedicated to the great composer and the Café Glockenspiel once served as a court of justice. On the opposite side of the square is the residence building and its bell tower. Its 35 bells have rung out here since 1702. Benedictine monks still inhabit the Stift St. Peter, the oldest monastery in the German-speaking world, the origin of the Salzburg church. Hemmed in between the cathedral, the Franziskaner Kirche, and the Festspielhaus is the Mönchsberg. This monastery church is the only High Romanic Basilica in Salzburg. A tiny adjoining cemetery is located in the shade of the rock wall of the Mönchsberg, an oasis of silence that is also one of the most beautiful cemeteries in the world. The small chapel is decorated with a number of stone plates dedicated to those who have been interred here. It has been a Christian meeting place since the third century. Next to the Sebastienkirche is another cemetery that was originally for those who died from the plague, leprosy and various other diseases. But in 1598 the Prince Archbishop Wolf Dietrich transformed it into a Campo Santo of Italian design. The chapel became his mausoleum, surrounded by arcades and 88 graves of various Salzburg families. The residential city of the Prince Archbishops was tantamount to being an independent state within the Roman Empire of the German nation. The Prince Archbishops of Salzburg ruled from the residence until 1803, a palace of ecclesiastical power. Here, each subsequent regent made many changes. They constantly expanded and improved the fine rooms of their predecessors. The complex contains more than 180 rooms and halls, with a knight's hall, audience hall, throne room and even an emperor's hall. Frescoes and stucco work on the ceilings, walls decorated with velvet wallpaper, and splendid furniture. No expense was spared. Here, prosperity was on full view. The relationship between both secular and clerical power was demonstrated in cultural form. Only a small number of paintings and books indicate their ecclesiastical roots.
the great historical heritage of the City of Bishops has survived to the present day. Close to the city is the Hellbrunn Zoo. The animals are housed in large, natural enclosures. Native animals such as the ibex fight playfully, and strong brown bears stroll around their large enclosure. The zoo contains exotic animals from all over the world, much to the delight of its many tiny visitors. The zoo was originally designed as a deer park and was first mentioned in 1424. In 1961, it was transformed into a zoo by private investors. It now has an Africa section, a tropical house and a bird park. The birth date of each animal that lives here is detailed on various signs. Nearby Schloss Hellbrunn is one of the most popular attractions in Salzburg, once the pleasure castle of Prince Archbishop Marcus Sitikus. The building complex and large park are a unique example of Villa Suburbana based upon a replica in Italy. They were designed by master builder Santino Solari at the beginning of the 17th century, along with all the wall and ceiling paintings that were typical of that time. Both illusionist and surreal paintings were used to express contemporary life. The castle resembles many of those that Marcus Sitticus admired while visiting Italy. The far eastern room in the southern corner pavilion contains painted Chinese wallpaper. It features unusual plants and large exotic birds. But the main attraction is the water garden, an interesting place with stunning water features. There are grottos, niches, ponds and fountains, and various water-spouting sculptures flank the paths. But of most interest is the famous stone table. It was here that Archbishop Sitikus splashed his visitors with water by way of hidden pipes. Ten stone stools are placed around the table. Each has a spray nozzle attached to the seat. Prince Archbishop Marcus Sitticus obviously possessed a wicked sense of humour. The city is a work of art within itself, an historic treasure chest, a city of timeless beauty, full of southern flair and joie de vivre. Salzburg, a Baroque gem located in the very heart of Europe.